Hi, this is Michelle, and I will be showing you how to make yourself or another person look like a vampire in this third part of this um, topic. Um, as you have already seen the other videos, or if you have not seen the other videos, please check out my other videos to know how we got the, the pale skin and how we got the redness in the eye. Um, right now we're going to be making her lit her teeth pointy like a vampire and we're gonna zoom in as much as possible and uh, we can't really see it right now because some pictures are not going to be clear some pictures are going to be pixely um that's why if you have a really good camera and you take a picture of yourself then it'll be clear but if you do what i did and get a picture of the internet and you get a low quality quality one sorry um then the picture will be pixely and it will be kind of hard to see, but this one's fairly good. Um, now what we're going to be doing is we're gonna go to our pass tool, which we should already know what it is. It's this thing right here. We're gonna make sure it's on design. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna make a new layer, just so we can get this over with. We're gonna make a new layer, go to new layer, and we're going to be getting this little box, dialog box and we're going to name it teeth sorry and we're going to make sure it's on transparency and we're going to click ok after that we have a new layer in our layers box and now what we're going to take is our pass tool and we're going to go like this and just click like that and we can adjust it so it looks a bit better and now we're going to make okay well what I just did is we're going to make um, like a triangle. We're going to make three points. One on this side, one down here, as long as you want it to be. I made it fairly short. And another one right here, right where this one is. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to click shift on our keyboard. We're going to left click. And we're going to be doing the same thing about the same area. So right there. And the same place over here. We're going to be trying to get the whole tooth in so it looks a bit natural or a bit more natural. And right now it doesn't really good, look good, but what we're going to do is we're going to go selection for path. And as I said before, if you cannot um, get, if you do not get that dialog box and be underneath your color pick, picking thing, sorry, excuse me, you can go to select and select from path. Um, my computer is being a bit slow. Okay, now we have that, and we're going to go to our toolbox, and we're going to be clicking the color picker tool. And we're just going to be clicking on the tooth that we just, um, first what we're going to do is we're going to click on the background layer so we can get the right color. So you see, if I do it on, um, the teeth layer and I try to click it's going to turn black but if I click on the background layer and I click on the tooth it's going to turn a creamy white color so now what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it on the on that and we're going to make sure that we get the color of the tooth that we want to color and we're going to be getting our brush and we're going to get our fuzzy circle fuzzy brush number 19 now we're going to make this this brush like this big um, and we're gonna go back to our layers box so we're gonna click on our teeth layer okay once we've done that we can color in the tooth without actually messing up the picture and so we can delete or erase whatever it is that we have messed up on okay now that looks kind of not good but what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out and see how it looks and that looks a bit unrealistic, but you can make it as long as or as short as you can, as you want. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our um, filters right here. And it doesn't show it on that side, so I'm gonna be doing it like this. Okay, we're gonna go to our filters Thing, and we're gonna go to blur 
And again, you won't be able to see it, so I'm going to go over here. And we click our filters. We're going to click on blur, which is the first one right here. And we're going to click on Gaussian blur. Now, what we once we've done that, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to move this back over here. Okay. Once we got we've done that, um, we're gonna have to wait a bit for the picture to for the Gaussian blur to load up. So while we're doing that, I will be telling you what I will be trying to do for the next um, topic uh, of GIMP, manip uh, image manipulation. Um, so the next topic, and this is just like a vote to see if this would um, be watched, is um, how to make a picture look vintage. Um, well, here's the Gaussian blur thing. And we're going to be, previews right there, we're going to make it about 7.0 and we're going to click OK and see now it looks a bit more natural. Okay. That is how you make, um, sorry about that, kind of messed it up once I unclicked it. So I'm going to redo the Gaussian blur um, real fast. Okay, um, but like I was saying before about the topic of the vintage, uh, just comment down there and tell me if you want me to do that. Okay, we're going to make it for about 6.0 or 6.0. That looks good. Okay, and that is what we're going to be doing. So that is all. That's how you make someone look like a vampire. And... It should look a little better if you. Sorry about that. If you use a regular brush, I thought it would make it a little bit more soft looking if um if you used a uh, circle fuzzy. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to redo the the whole thing. Sorry about that, I'm just going to be doing this real quick so I can um, show you the full or the right way to do it because it didn't really come out good before or rather when I first did it. Um, it seems to not want to change or color on it so I'm just going to try coloring in with this. doesn't seem to want to work. Okay, well... Um, this is how it would look, but it should look a bit more darker. So I'll just um, leave you with that, and hopefully um, you'll get it right. In sorry. Um, instead of using a circle fuzzy brush, use a regular circle 19 brush. That way it should um, look a bit darker and a little more um, natural. Um, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and request anything that you want me to do. And please tell me if I should do the vintage photoing um, GIMP tutorials. Um, that is it. Thanks for watching and have a great night.